Hi, I'm going to show you some animation in App Inventor, and what I'm going to do is, is show you a um, simple app where the, uh, a ball goes diagonally across the screen and then pops up back to the top left corner. Uh, the first thing I do is drag in a canvas object, and these canvas objects are, are where drawing and animation can take place, and, and, and they're a little bit tricky. You always kind of want to set this width, and often you'll set it to fill parent which means the width of the canvas will be basically the width of the phone. Uh, then I'm going to set the height to, I don't know, 320 pixels. And I think that'll give me just about a square here on my, on my canvas. And then I'm going to uh, put from the animation palette, I'm going to put a ball. A ball is like an image sprite, um, but there's no file associated with it. So it always just looks like a ball. The image sprite and ball behave the same. But uh, you know, ball has a fixed fixed image. So there's there's my ball, and the last thing I'm going to need is from the basic palette. I'm going to need a clock um, component, and it's a non-visual component, and it shows up in the non-visible area. And I'm going to set that timer interval for the clock to to 50. Um, a thousand, it's in milliseconds, so a thousand is a second. So every 50 milliseconds, um, I'm going to get a timer event and I can make that ball move on the, on the timer event. So if I go over to the blocks editor and I want my ball to move diagonally every timer event, so I'll drag out a, a clock top timer event and what I want to happen is my ball to, to move. So ball has a couple of functions, same as image sprite, uh, one of them is move to. Um, and what I want is my ball to move from where it is, um, you know, some number of pixels down and some no number of pixels to the right. So the X coordinate is to the right and the Y coordinate is how much to move down. So I'm going to say I want to go, well, I want to go from the current X location. And i got to find that property down here. And what I'm going to want to do is add some amount to it. So I'll go to the math palette and grab a plus. And then I, I don't know, I'm going to want to add, let's just say, five pixels. So I'm going to change my X coordinate by five every time. And then I'm going to pretty much do the same thing with my Y coordinate because I want to move diagonally. So I need to go get my Y property for the ball. And then I'll make it also move um, five pixels. Okay, so, so basically um, every interval of time my ball will move from where it was five pixels to the right and five pixels down. And so that, that should happen. Now I've already connected this app to the emulator. And so if I click on the emulator, um, I'd have to restart I guess. But if I restart it, the emulator will show that ball moving. Um, so right now it's connecting to the emulator and when it comes up, we'll see the ball moving diagonally. I'll bring the emulator down so we can work on our other behavior while we, while we wait. So the other behavior, oh here comes the, the app. Um, it's loading up right now and this is what's called live testing in App Inventor. So there goes my app. It's running live. This is the app we just built and uh, notice it stops when it gets to the edge of the canvas. Okay, so I'm going to minimize my emulator for now. Let's, let's add our second behavior. And that behavior is when the ball reaches an edge, we want to want to move him back to the top left corner. So I'm going to go up to ball and find the edge reached event. Okay, we don't really care what edge. We know the edge it's going to hit is going to be either bottom or right. But in any case, we want to move the ball up to the top of the canvas and so I'm just going to put in a, a 1 for the X coordinate and a 1 for the Y coordinate. Okay and so now every interval the ball should move diagonally but when it gets to an edge it should pop immediately back up to the to the top. So let's bring our emulator up. It should be running as we speak. There it goes. And when it hits the edge, it should pop up to the top. There it goes. Fantastic. And notice it's kind of